Good meowing, everybody. Do you want to try playing as a tabaxi? Well, there's a lot of things you got to learn about this brand new race coming to Dungeons and Dragons Online. Both the regular tabaxi, which is a dexterity based race, and the iconic tabaxi trailblazer, which is a monk. I will put a link in the description if you want to read about some of the stuff instead of seeing it in game. But this is going to feature all of the animations as well as the different visual options that there are with these races, as well as my opinions about some of the different abilities and effects. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the cosmetics that make this character look as good as it does. So let's talk about cosmetics. How do the tabaxi look? And the answer is... Really, really, really good. There are a ton of customization options here for the Tabaxi. So many, in fact, that you now have a scroll bar for your customizations because there's too many to fit on the menu. You've got tons of hairstyles, uh, hair colors, which also affect some other aspects of the fur, different types of eye shapes. You've got the different eye colors, which affects the entire iris, even though I landed on the worst one. You've got eyebrows or no eyebrows. You get to choose your nose. You get to choose your face shape. You get to choose your facial hair. And there's tons of different facial hairs. It's like 15 each. You get to choose the shape of your ears and the jewelry that you have. You get to choose the size of your tail and what type of accoutrement your tail has. Do you want to have like uh, just some leather bands. You want to have a thick leather band, maybe with some bones in it. You get all sorts of cool stuff here. Then skin color, which is actually just like the baseline fur. You can kind of must uh, muck around and change some of this stuff onto here. Then you have the lip color. Lip color is actually just this um, kind of uh, nose area here. So it's pretty much just the nose. I think it's also your lips down here, but it's mostly the nose. So you want to have like a more cat-like pink nose or you want to choose something else. It's entirely up to you. And then you have the marking style, which is the markings that go all over the outside of the tabaxi's body. So you have the different markings here, um, and as well as the actual face markings, which is the little white spots here where you want them to go. So you can kind of determine where you want your white spots to go. Now, it's important to note that of all of these, there's so many different options that it's really hard for me to explain. But basically, if you hit randomize, you're almost always going to get a good looking tabaxi, no matter how you build it. Uh, there are so many different character customization options here. This is easily the most diverse, um, kind of not diverse, but like the the most options we've ever had to build any type of character and it's pretty cool i am hoping to see that they do more with this with some extra future races and who knows maybe this is kind of leading the way for like character model revamps of some of the older races that could possibly use it um now on top of this we've also got the female tabaxi visuals as well the female tabaxi have a slightly different face shape uh, but it's important to note that while their face shape is a little bit different right now the hairstyles are not currently working um, they're going to be in the next preview for the race but they're just not currently working at the moment additionally i don't know if the facial hair is not supposed to be working i think none of the hair is working on here so you can't actually have any uh you know, accoutrement here. So instead, you just have the individual tabaxis. You can kind of re-roll the cosmetics and see what you do and don't like. But as I said, so if you are testing out on the preview uh, when this video goes up, just make sure, remember that the uh, visuals and the cosmetics will be coming later, um, which it didn't make it in. However, if you're thinking like, oh man, like they didn't finish it or something, the differences between the male and the female tabaxi are all, are all over the place. And I want to get this out early. The male tabaxis cannot climb. So male tabaxis can't climb. The animations are not in the game yet, um, which means you can't climb ladders and you also can't climb. Like if you hang off a ledge and you try to climb up, it won't let you. Uh, you will just fall down. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but the female tabaxis can. So if you want to go try to actually play the characters with their stats um you know you're gonna have to play the female tabaxi because they can actually like do adventures like climbing ladders and stuff whereas this the male tabaxi cannot do that but the male tabaxi has the hair in the game whereas they uh the female tabaxi don't have the hair yet but man look at it. every time you make one random it's so cool damn dude it's so i just get excited looking at this but speaking of stats so Tabaxi Tree, let's take a quick gander over top of this one. Tabaxis, they get bonuses to their dodge and maximum dexterity bonus in light armor, which is pretty good. Here, here, and here, and also dodge cap. This is a very good effect. You're going to like that one. The thing that I love about this tree, can't scratch. So this says single target melee attack, and it has a whole bunch of rules with how you're supposed to use it that are on the forums. Doesn't matter. What matters is your character goes, Wachow! you swipe with your offhand, and when you make that swipe, it's actually a full frontal cleave. Um, I am hoping that they keep it a full frontal cleave. It makes this attack very, very useful and one of the fantastic reasons to play a tabaxi. I'm hoping they keep it. You also get uh, bonuses to hit, which is just good. Um, they get balance, jump, and tumble, which is fine. Skills, every tree has skills. It's fine. Uh, sneak attack dice, making this very, very strong. And you land on your feet, so you don't take fall damage. Not a super useful effect, but fun nonetheless, and it's definitely worth its while here. 
Moving up, you get Hunt Down, which slows monsters when you hit them with the uh, Cat Scratch. I don't know how good this is. It's probably pretty bad. Maybe it's useful on a tank if you can't hold on to stuff, but even then, eh. So I'm not sure when you would put points in here, but there's probably somebody who can make good use out of it. Surprise Claws gives you attack while flanking, so if you need more attack, you just juice it. High Places, which is after falling for at least 1.5 seconds, when you land, uh, you gain critical confirmation, damage, and armor piercing. This effect, if you have maximum jump, and you jump on the ground with Feather Falling, and you hit the ground, um, this will not work. But if you have any elevation at all, right? So next to me is this little bamboo shoot. If I jump from this bamboo shoot onto the ground, that is enough. So basically, as long as you're using elevations, you're on a staircase, you're doing something to increase your jump height, then this effect will be going off all the time. Very easy to maintain. Um, so even in raids like Project Nemesis, for example, where it's just one big empty room, there's like a slight raised platform with each of the areas where like the crystal shoots down and you can just use that to keep this buff up so very very good ability uh deflect arrows insane i don't know why this is so cheap or so low but it's very very good now granted deflect arrows can be gotten a lot of places and you can get it from the vasani tree for six points but tabaxi has good stuff like sneak attack damage you already read points into so very very useful and if you don't own vasani even better uh saving throws versus traps which is just fantastic and if you move up to the tier three things are gonna get a little bit wonky here uh, Sharp Claws for some melee damage is fine. Uh, dodge Bypass is awesome. It's a very rare effect. You only need this against certain raid bosses, as well as Hero Soul Champions and uh, Fey Champions, Fey whatever they're called. Um, those are the things that have dodged in this game. Very rare effect, but when you encounter it, it's nice to have the Bypass. Now, there's going to be a natural climber. You get faster movement speed when you climb vines. Unfortunately, that did not make it into the game. So if you have ideas for what you, they should put here, since this doesn't work, because um, apparently it's a technical problem, go to the forums and say, yo, this is what I think you should do. Tabaxi should have the ability to do 20 backflips when they do something. Or, like, Tabaxi should have a purring effect that gives a positive buff to allies. I don't know. Just think about that. And then you have this ability, Focus Agility. So the, pa the Tabaxi passive... When they stand still um, for six seconds and then they move, they get a movement speed bonus, feline agility, which gives them a 30% action boost bonus to movement speed. Well, guess what? Um, with this, it means you stand still for three seconds and the buff lasts nine seconds, making this a lot more usable. At six seconds, you have to stand still for quite a long time. It's going to happen, but not very often. At three seconds, all the time. Stand still fighting a monster, congratulations, now you can move. Stand still opening a door, just wait a second, and then boom, you get this massive boost to uh, movement speed. This is a bug. It's supposed to be an upgrade here that makes it so it lasts 18 seconds and it gives you a 50% movement speed bonus, which is literally sprint boost after you wait for three seconds to move. It sounds like it's not going to happen all the time. It's literally always active. So don't worry about that. Uh, then we got sneaky strikes up here, plus one sneak attack die. Uh, so just more sneak attack damage, which is fantastic. And then uh, your other tier fours, you got lash out for offhand strike chance while using light weapons. This is fine. I can't imagine this would be good, but it is nice when you're playing a weird build. So a build that's not a Vistani Knife Fighter, a build that's not a Tempest Ranger, and you still got to get that offhand strike chance. It's nice for that. You have Quick Paw for double shot with thrown weapons, uh, which is good, I guess. Uh, Rapid Scratch for double strike while single weapon fighting. Again, good. And this cool heal with Vigor. There's no two-handed fighting stuff in this tree. This is not really designed for two-handed fighting, but it's still quite cool. Uh, you also get Deep Scratchers, which adds damage. Uh, this ability is bad, and I'm hoping that they patch it up and give, do something with it. Uh, the damage is not, it's like not working on the uh, server right now in the preview. But also, even if you do the math on this, this is bad, 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 bad. So they need to like up it by like a thousand percent. So we'll see. Uh, and then you have nine lives. You gain Rogue's Defensive Roll Feat, which you can make a save to reduce your damage by half, which is really good. And finally, Evasion. Now, evasion might seem like it's too good here. I mean, people are like, wow, evasion in a racial tree? Uh, for those of you that don't know, evasion is very easy to get by just going into Shadow Dancer in Epics, which a lot of people do. And also, most classes, if you want evasion, you probably have it. Rogues get it, monks get it, rangers get it, and those are the classes that are most likely to actually have either light or no armor. So, if you're playing a class, like, I don't know, maybe Wizard, and you want evasion, you want Bard, you want evasion, and you don't want to take Rogue for whatever reason, this is a good option. Um, not something you're going to be seeing too often. But still, overall, Tabaxi Tree is nice. Uh, I would put it just below Shifter in terms of power level. And if they if they make this a single target attack, way below Shifter in terms of power level. Um, just as a general review. And they need to tone up some of these things. So, here with Tabaxi Trailblazer, uh, you've got brand new enhancements. Each one is going to give you dodge and dodge bypass as you go up. This dodge bypass is very, very strong. It's one of the best sources of dodge bypass in the game. Making this 
a very valuable tree to start. Additionally, you can either choose Wisdom or Dexterity because this is a monk type character. And starting off at the bottom, it's very similar to the basic Tabaxi, so I'm not going to cover off of that. You've got stuff like, you know, attack, the skills, the falling damage, the sneak attack dice, the sneak attack dice. So I'm only going to cover the different things that are in this tree. For starters, you've got low blows, trip DCs, and uh, double while using a quarter staff. Very, very, very good. On top of that, you've also got the, uh, not the high places, I think this is all the same. There's a new buff here that's supposed to be giving you, this is hunt down, but it's supposed to be giving you uh, your quarter staves, don't break, basically. It's wooden quarter staves, no break, or wooden weapons, which is really, really, really good. So, um, it's not like end game damage useful, but it's useful for just generally playing the game, so very useful. Uh, Staff Adept is not supposed to be here. This is actually supposed to be an enhancement that gives you more key. So you get passive key and more key when you hit monsters. Uh, not super useful on a Henshin Mystic, but useful for other different different types of monks and useful during the leveling process. So I can see this having value. Uh, strike through here, obviously the stealthy enhancement, which gives you bonus key generation while you are sneaking and faster sneaking speed. Just nice to have. The focused agility, sneak attacks. And then up here at the tier five or tier five, tier four, the top tier of this stuff, you have wide sweep which is a sweeping quarterstaff trip attack that trips everything. For some reason, the DC is plus 54 dex mod and trip bonuses, which is too high of a number. I tested this. That is what it is on Lemania. You can trip literally anything in any difficulty you go into, including raid bosses, which is a bug. But the big thing is it has a six second cooldown, which is absurd. And it says that it works as an improved trip feat. I checked. It doesn't. It does not count for Sundering Swings. Don't think it counts for Sundering Swings. It does not. So it's just a regular trip, but still very, very powerful. Staff Deflection, where if you deflect arrows with a quarter staff, you get Action Boost Bonus to Double Strike, which is awesome. The Fast Sprinter, so you actually get the Longer Feline Agility Movement Speed Bonus. Cat's Eye, so you have True Seeing, and it cannot be dispelled from you. And finally, Escape Artist, when you tumble, you gain Incorporeality and Concealment, which is really useful. Tumbling before combat to get yourself that bonus is great, and then getting the extra Action Boost Bonus to Movement Speed. And again, the Action Boost Bonus to Movement Speed is something that's going to be on more often than you think it's actually going to be because you just stop for a few seconds and then boom all of a sudden feline agility is back up again and it's like i've got sprint boost going on so just fight a few monsters fight 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 you know use a cleave use a cleave use a cleave and then all of a sudden i've got my feline agility so a lot of good stuff there and an animation i forgot to show off is actually the dance so this is the male dances so there's male dance one which looks like so which is basically exactly how i dance when i uh you know head out to the dance floor and then the male dance two, which is one of the best dances in the entire video game. This has actually got sounds too, which is amazing. This will be a lot better when it loops. Currently it doesn't loop due to a bug. So there's that. So if you have not seen this, oh, so good. So here we have the first female tabaxi dance. Kind of this kind of groove going on here. And then we also have the second female tabaxi dance, which is a little different, which does look like this. Got, again, a bit more groove. You can tell that they've got a lot more detail in the animations. You got like the wrist animations here that look pretty good. Um, the toes move around, like the way the head actually twists and turns. Um, this seems like a much newer model. Uh, it makes me wonder if they're actually going to be... And also the tail is a lot more detailed, a lot more animated than with the um, tiefling. So it makes me wonder if they're actually going to be adding in some new animations for some of the other existing races. Now here's the in-game model. This is the character that I lovingly named Sonic the Hedgehog because... Um, yeah. Uh, the tabaxi has fantastic animations and it has a few custom ones. We're looking at the Trailblazer tabaxi iconic right here. The Trailblazer tabaxi iconic animations... Um, like I said, they have a special custom run, so I'm going to take off the quarterstaff for a second so you can just... Oh, geez, that's a full backpack. I'm going to take off the quarterstaff for just a second here and show you the run anim animation. They, I, The character moves very fast. So you're going to see very fast Tabaxi animations. They move very quick. Um, but, you know, they got kind of like a, a pretty solid motion here. On top of that, they also have custom tumbling animations. So you can see the tail actually curves as they are, in fact, tumbling around. Um, so it does look quite, quite cool when you're doing that. Um, they're... Unarmed animations as a monk, um, they actually have a custom unarmed monk animation as well. It's a little bit more like wild than your standard uh, animation on a monk, so it's just less in between steps. The audio doesn't match up, but it does look very, very good. However, the bread and butter is when you're playing as the uh, 
Tabaxi, Iconic, the Trailblazer, and you're using a quarterstaff. Why? Because when you run around with this character, you have a special running animation. You carry your quarterstaff behind you like you're the protagonist in an anime, and you run around, and uh, it looks pretty sweet. Additionally, on top of that, you've also got different custom staff animations. One, two, three, and four. These animations are sick, and I love them. They are exclusive to the Tabaxi Iconic. So if you're out here and you want to try to do these, unfortunately for you, um, they do not work for all the races. This is Iconic alone. However, the moving animation, this one, has replaced the other animations. Um, it's a little jerky, so they need to fix that. But that's this is preview one, so that makes sense. This moving animation is going to be replacing the other animations, and it's supposed to be also um, having a wider arc, so it'll actually hit more things with your strike through. So they're fixing that for the other races. Um, so, as you can see, there's no issue with the actual width of it. You're still able to chop down kobolds fairly regularly, which is not too bad. Um, it also has, I think, custom cleave animations as well. So, if I pull up the cleaves, um, you know, I've got a cleave here. Um, actually, it's the same cleave animation. That's the same cleave animation, and that's the. this is another new one, which is the wide sweep. Um, so, the animations on Tabaxi, they have, they're a lot more fluid, especially with the monk. Your character looks very monk-like. Um, so I kind of love it. I love the animations of this character. I love the way you run around with the staff behind you. Uh, it's fantastic. So delightful animations. And I forgot to mention something super cool. Not only did we get to see uh, the Tabaxi and all their model changes, there's all, or not model changes, but their model and everything else that they do. It's very cool. But also we have a new feature coming out with this expansion. That's right, Dino Sour Mounts. You're gonna be able to get yourself your own Raptor. Um, you know, they jump around, uh, they've got a pretty good running animation, which is hard to show with the changed camera angles, so it doesn't look as nice, but they look pretty good. But that's not all. There's not just one dino mount. You think that's pretty poggers? Wait for this one. Boom! Two dino mount! We got the feathered dino mount up in here. That's blue, by the way. That's a blue dino mount. It's fantastic. Yeah, they can swim, they can jump, they can do everything. So if you're not excited, I don't know what's wrong. Just get excited for dinosaurs. We got ankylosaurs. We got triceratops. We got raptor. We got the fly flying ones, Ptera pterodactyloids. Um, so we got every dinosaur, and I'm excited. I cannot wait to see what else we got going on. Also, their dance is not in the game, so I can't show you what the dance is. It is not currently loading. I apologize. But they do jump up and down, and they growl. It's kind of neat. <laughs> 